What's everyone? Welcome back to the game of the strange story of Brian Fisher. So I am like completely stuck on this whole computer puzzle thing um, but they have changed a couple of things in the game. You can now uh, pick up the uh, computer book which you couldn't before and they have also simplified the um, the kind of like puzzle in the book if that makes sense for the computer uh, to do the whole code stuff as well as the bit of paper um, that had the password and the username on it that actually has like an encryption thing on the back which I never checked before so that's obviously going to come in handy okay so I'm actually having some help with this computer puzzle my partner kind of actually pretty much done the whole thing for me it still kind of really confused me I don't know why Maybe my brain just doesn't work like in that way. So we are getting things done now. Um, so the code that we actually had to decrypt, which was on the back of the piece of paper with the password and the username on it, that code, I don't know why I didn't think about it beforehand, but we were spending so long trying to figure out what each of the letters was because the G looked like a nine or, and the, oh, sorry, it is a nine, um, but it looked like a G. And then the first letter was like, is it a P or is it a D? And there is a button there for you to click, like to view like the text version of it. And we're stupid because we didn't figure that out until like five minutes after struggling, being like, why isn't it working? But it finally works. Oh, finally. And what does this number mean? And yes, now we have another code, uh, another number for the code thing for the door, which is great. So let's go put that in. Excellent, Brian. Excellent. Great progress. <laughs> now, tell me, how do I open it? What? Open what? I really still don't know what you're talking about. Well, that computer didn't give me a whole lot of information, but I did learn one thing. My father used the same computer, and he was in this cabin. Unless somebody else has the same name as him. Also, in that moment... I didn't know the meaning of the number that I got in the computer. Uh, at first glance, it appeared meaningless. But as it turns out, it wasn't meaningless at all. In fact, it was a very significant part for the rest of my story. It gave me an even greater desire to keep exploring the cabin. I was absolutely sure that I'd find out more information. In that moment, my main focus was no longer on how to get out of the cabin, but how to find out more. And then again, the same question. Who left all these signs for me to find? Okay, so what story in the cabin is still not over. So I put in the code in for the... So we've got three numbers now, which is awesome. So the next puzzle that I have to go and do is the one down in the basement. Um, it's kind of like that maze puzzle thing. And I have this sussed out um or actually like the devs actually helped me because i was confused as to whether you had to just kind of get it to go to the middle or if everything had to be completely flush so turns out everything has to be completely flush So, like this, we have done it, we've done it, we've done it. Um, so yeah, this has to be completely flush now. So now I have to use a WASD and move it all, um, move it all to the middle. I'm hoping, where do we go, where do we go, where do we go, where do we go? Not that way, because that's going to be a freaking disaster. I think we could go this way. No, do we? Okay, yeah, sorry. No, we'll go this way. Uh, yeah, I have a fit. Well, I'm hoping that this will actually lead us um, to the projector thing. Because I have not found a projector yet. It's been... Um, so we still have that. And I'm hoping that I don't get, like, too stuck on that puzzle. I wish you could use, like, the mouse just to, like, move this thing around. But it's not, it's not that bad. I think I prefer this than the computer puzzle. So they did simplify the computer puzzle. But I was still, me being stupid I guess, like struggling with it a little bit. Uh, so yeah, I had help with that. Okay, great. Yay! Projector! Great! 
So, um, okay, so we have three out of four digits. Find the projector and make it work. Find hidden information in the computer. Um, okay, so we have the projector now. So I just need to um, make it work, I guess. I don't know how we make it work. Maybe there is a... There's got to be somewhere where we can put it up. I'm thinking maybe upstairs. Oh, goodness gracious. Um, the look for this as well, it seems to be like very like sensitive. I don't know if I turn it up even more by mistake or what. Oh, wait. Oh, projector goes here. Okay. Um, use... Um, do I have to turn off the lights? Why won't it let me use the projector? I must be missing something. A tripod. I already have a projector. I just need to find a good spot to put it. Okay. That took me far too long to just like find that like last part I needed for the like projector. Um, okay, let's put this. Oh, okay, it goes here. And then let's put this here. Great. Great. Almost done with this projector. One more step to go. And what is that? Do I have to like turn off the lights or something? Um, okay. It was kind of like hidden. Let's do this. Okay, one more st Oh, sorry, yeah, I completely hmm. forgot about that. Now I need a source of light to project. What do you mean? I need like a light bulb. Um. Oh, okay. I put the torch in. That's great. Oh my god, the torch is actually used for something. That's awesome. I love that. Um. Okay. I think we should. Oh no! Wait. I think we should be done. Oh, wait, are you telling me I have to use these? What is it, G? Is it doing something? Let me turn this off. Oh my god, the fire. Okay, probably a bad idea. Okay, so one of the slides makes a really weird noise, and I don't know if it's... I f if I'm missing something, I've walked around the house a couple more times now um, and I cannot see anything else that I'm able to pick up. I've looked in all the drawers that I'm aware that I can look in. Um, I still have this key on me. It's not the garage or the car key. I, can't I think it's a car key. Um, it's not that one, it's the other one, but I honestly have no idea what it goes to. Um, but one of these slides just makes a really weird noise. The slides are kind of hard to see. I don't know if I'm missing some sort of backdrop, uh, which will make this easier. Wait, what is this? Oh my god, are you kidding me? Okay, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. I feel like such an idiot right now. I feel like such an idiot right now. Okay, sorry, one second, <laughs> one second, I feel so stupid right now. Um, okay, right, let's flip through these now and see. I'm so stupid. Like, so stupid. It's funny that I only actually saw that as the lights were off. That's insane. Um, okay, so we're making it work now, which is great. Um, okay, six. Six, 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 six. Six. And the projector. Yay! I saw lots of formulas and sketches of planets. But there was also a number. Although, at that moment, I didn't really know what it meant. 
But it turned out to be extremely important for what was about to happen next. Since my father was a scientist, this seemed to me like proof that he was here. Maybe he even used this projector. As I went deeper into this mystery with all these signs I was picking up, the whole situation became much more... strange. Okay. Um, right. Okay, so it was... it was a six. It was six. It was six. Error? What? No way! Unless I found them all in the wrong order. Four out of four. Um, okay. So what order do we have to do them in? Maybe I should put this key bag. Um, okay, wait. Yeah. No? Okay, right. Wait, was it... And what were the numbers? So that one was six. So we've got six. Let me get a bit of paper again. Oh, wait. I think this tells us it. Oh, this tells us the code. Okay, so seven is actually the last code. Um, so seven is the last one. Six would be the next one. And then the one that was on the... This was two so does that mean oh yeah two so two would be a first and then what was the one on the hieroglyph oh god sorry my camera is going insane um okay so it should be two nine six seven two nine six seven two nine six seven two nine six seven i can't believe i was missing that freaking yay we done it 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 i didn't grab the car keys crap finally i got out who kidnapped me who was the guy that brought me there and what am i supposed to open at that time i still didn't have a clue until then, there were absolutely no traces of my father's disappearance. Oh, that was the first one. The first sign. My kidnapping became the starting point. And I gave all my best in order to move forward. I promised myself I'd find out what happened to my father. I'll find out who's responsible for all of that. And I'll find out what my father's discovery was. In the end, that's how my strange story begins. I know I left a lot of questions unanswered, but this is just a small piece of the whole story. My escape from the cabin was just the beginning. Did he just like lots of other things <laughs> were about to happen? Oh I'll tell you wow! About in the following chapters. Until then. my father Fa father why did I say it like that okay so we have now finished chapter one I don't know when chapter two or whatnot will be out this set and the other um I don't know if it will be like a separate kind of thing whether it is the type of thing where you have to buy each chapter if that makes sense I do hope that's not how it is I hope that it's kind of like 
if when chapter two comes out it's just a kind of case of you going into the game and lo and behold you can play uh chapter two because although i had trouble with some of the puzzles and thank you so much to the um devs and that for like, helping me with the puzzles and also um i had help from my partner with the computer one especially um and that so yeah um some of the puzzles for me not super easy which i mean you if you want a puzzle game you're not gonna want the puzzles to be super easy otherwise like you know what's the challenge some i mean i really enjoy puzzle games but sometimes i find it hard to wrap my head around some puzzles the electric box puzzle and the computer puzzle was one of those ones that i had trouble a bit of trouble well a lot of trouble actually <laughs> wrapping my head around but the others were like absolutely fine but yeah i really enjoyed this chapter one and i'm interested for chapter two that little ball puzzle i was kind of adamant that it would go with the maze box puzzle but it doesn't um he kind of like fell over and it, we're now in like i don't know it's kind of like a whole universe thing it's weird but i'm very intrigued so that is the end of chapter one of the strange story of brian fisher so yeah just thank you guys so so much for watching this episode this series little short series but again it's only chapter one so yeah just thank you all so so much hit the like button leave comments down below please don't forget to subscribe if you are new i would absolutely love to see you guys around on the channel make sure to leave comments down below make sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed it let me know what you think of the games that i play i always like to interact with you guys in the comments and stuff like that as well so don't be afraid to leave comments um just whatever i hope you guys are doing well and all that kind of good stuff as well and i will see you all in the next video take care bye